Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, and Doctor Strange, Surgeon Supreme, issue number one, jumping on point? Yes, this is a jumping on point. Everything that just happened recently is explained in the book. The only problem I found with it really is that they don't say where it happened. There's the previous run, which went up to 20 issues. My 20th issue is actually in a bulk review, uh, not the um, uh, an individual review, but I did do an individual review for issue number 19. That's where all the stuff that you're seeing in here, like, whoa, why is he a surgeon? That happened in issue number 19 of the previous run, which was also by Mark Wade. So, you know, there's there's that. Anyway, guys, let's get talking about this comic book where it's got the der in the front, Doctor Strange like that. Big long story about Stan Lee saying he didn't want the doctor on there because that's what um, two of the characters in DC, also called Strange, one of them being a doctor, um, they always did the little shorting part. Stanley wanted the long doctor to separate those. Anyway, let's get talking about this uh, comic book after we talk about who made it. So we got Mark Wade and Kev Walker, storytellers. Java Tartaglia on colors. Uh, VC's Corey Petit on letters. VC's Phil Noto on cover. Uh, Gerardo's Zaf uh, just a whole bunch of variant covers. I'm not going to get into all the variant covers. That would take forever. Uh, and of course, Doctor Strange was created by Steve Didko with slightest input by Mr. Stanley. Okay, so Kev Walker's art on this man is just beautiful. You have got to have a great artist in order to have the, the crazy psychothropic things that Doctor Strange is going to be seeing when he's walking around. You remember back when we first started talking about the magic has a price and whatnot? That's when we first got the idea that he walks around town and he sees all these monsters like messing with people. And he's like, thank God that, you know, regular humans can't see this because it would terrify them, you know, uh, like homunculi and all sorts of, of nonsensical monstrous beasties messing with us, causing us to be sick, causing us to be angry, causing us to be pfft, whatever. All right. I love the idea that Mark Wade continues with that sort of mentality. He, he Wade's one of those guys, he can see something that's awesome and not, you know, be so bold-faced, you know, to be like, you know, well, you know, I'm going to do my own thing. This can be No, he's like, no, that was a beautiful idea. Why would I change that? Why would I ever change that? Wade is an amazing writer. Just facts. I'm, I'm preaching facts here, baby. So we get to see him trying to be a surgeon also. And he doesn't want to, again, magic has a price. I love that they're continuing with that also. We have him uh, saying, I, I'm going to perform surgery in this hospital, but I'm never going to actually use magic because everything that you do with magic has a price. And it turns out, hey, I don't want the, the price to actually be paid by somebody, you know, like one of my patients or something like that. So I'm only going to do regular awesome stuff. We get um, flashbacks from his past, like mostly just spoken. But, you know, we, we also get like the history of Doctor Strange in here. This is an actual issue number one. This is a true jumping on point. You're golden with this. Never read anything by Doctor Strange before? Fear not. Issue number one. Der Strange, Sur Surgeon Supreme. You're okay. <laughs> I know it's doctors. There's always somebody out there. Well, you know, yes, I, I do. Um, basically, what you're getting in here is Doctor Strange trying to separate his surgical life from his magical life. He has to sit there and take uh, stock when all of a sudden... 20 ambulances in a row are piled outside of the parking lot trying to bring people in. It's like, what happened? Well, there's a building collapse over on such and such. Nobody knows what's going on. As soon as Dr. Strange hears words like that, those are key words for somebody like Strange. He's like, oh, well, I could stay here and start mending broken bones and blah, 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 whatever. But you know what else I could do? I can actually go and try and find out what the source of this is so that no more bodies start getting pulled in. So he goes over there and he, and he finds, well, usually this particular threat is something that would be almost laughed at. It's like, ooh, cool villain for Thor, not such a great villain for Doctor Strange. And Strange points that out. He's like, I control magic. You know what I'm saying? You've got a magical artifact that makes you so powerful. I got your back, bruh. I got, you know, in fact, I'm going to shove this up your backside sideways. That's what I'm going to do. Well, unfortunately, Strange realizes a little bit too late that this is not the regular... Uh, I'm not going to give you spoilers, okay? So something, somebody shows up that's usually kind of like a joke villain. Um, or at least a lot of people joke him out. Not in this particular moment, no. He trades in his weapon for a more powerful weapon, or at least a different weapon that Strange isn't used to. And it messes with Strange in a main way. It seems to affect reality as opposed to magic, which is very different. Anyway, Strange gets a couple bones broken in this. Oh yeah, so we starting off rough. We starting off real rough. 
What complaints am I going to make about this comic book? Literally, the biggest complaint I can make about it is that the whole, hey, you know, saying these are the people who made the book only appears at the very last page of this comic book, uh, of the story of the comic book. I'm not happy with that. I would rather there actually be a title page and all the way in the beginning of the book. I think that should be a standard that Marvel uses so that we can always and forever see. And that includes the Immortal Hulk, which does this exact same format also. I want to see it all the way at the beginning of the book. I want there to be a brief recap of these are the things that happened. The book itself does a good job of that. I don't want the book to keep on telling me what happened in the previous issues. I don't. I want the, the title page to tell me that. So hopefully, with the, starting with the next issue, we go back to a title page with a recap and everybody who did every, that's what I want to see. That's what I want to see in this. Uh, literally, that's the only thing I complain about with this book. It is detailed. It is great. You can see storylines strewn throughout in a beautiful, amazing way. Also, little tiny details that you might pick up on that, you know, maybe I'm just making it up in my head, but he does talk about how, hey, I don't want to use magic in the hospital because I'm afraid one of my patients might, you know, get, you know, they, they might have to pay the price for it. At one point, uh, one of Strange's bosses technically comes in and says, hey, this place is a mess. How do you keep organizing everything? He's like, oh, I've got a system. And he uses magic to whoop, make everything go in its place, right? And then immediately he's like, would you like a tissue? Why? Why do you keep on trying to offer me a tissue? And then she sneezes. He says, because you're coming down with a cold. Did he do that? Interesting. Just little things like that. I love to look at little tiny details like that and try and make it make sense in my head. You know what I'm saying? absolutely love little things like that. I love it when the author doesn't necessarily explain everything in a book, just leaves it for us. You know what I'm saying? And maybe it was an accident. Who knows? Who cares? It's a fun read. A really fun read. If you always wanted to, you know, like, what is Doctor Strange? What I like Doctor Strange? The answer to it is yes. How do I get started? The answer is right in front of your face. Go ahead and jump on this, uh, this comic book. You're going to love it. Professor Bill Comic Book University. Class dismissed.